Hey, what up guys, it's Caleb here and in this video I'm going to talk about what computer should you buy if you're a graphic designer and thinking about getting a new machine for your graphic design work. Um, so definitely me myself, I'm not a computer geek so I can really tell you about the difference between you know 10 gig of RAM versus 20 gig of RAM and things like that. But like I think this video is just me telling you my experience between the G platforms, you know the Windows platform and the Mac platforms and I've used both, you know when I was in college definitely almost like 100% I'm using the Windows platform because like Mac is just too expensive but right now I'm using mostly my Mac system because you know like I I, I either get it from the clients or I get it from my previous company so the Mac system is kind of like the machine that I've been using for the past I think 70 years right now um, so just going to talk about compare between you know, the performance and then the support and the fields and price and all that kind of things between the two platforms so let's talk about you know the, the performance first and I think definitely like if you're using Windows you will have an edge over the Mac because of Windows you can you know configure your machine to be very powerful you can change your RAM to you know like 20 gig of RAM or whatever like that but then the Windows you can only buy it outright from the store um, so and you can upgrade it but I mean like you cannot do a lot of configuration by yourself so definitely if you compare top spec to top spec I think Windows machine is definitely more powerful but you also have to keep in mind that you know Windows system which is like usually Windows will have a lot of you know malware will have a lot of viruses and things and if you're not too tech savvy your computer can get slow very quickly so what happened to me was that my computer would get slow after maybe like half a year of use and I have to deep clean it or even I have to reinstall the system to keep it fresh again but for the Mac right now this computer I've been using it for about like three years now and I have never had to clean it it's still maintaining the performance pretty well um, as long as I don't open a lot of things at the same time it's still like pretty good and so I think like for the maintenance why Mac system is just a lot cleaner and performance and everything I think like if you're talking about the long term without cleaning your computer or without anything Mac can definitely last a longer time than Windows in my opinion um, so let's talk about software support right now and definitely if you are a you know designers right you'll be using a lot of software doing your design work um, so me myself right now I've been using Using Sketch and Figma a lot and 50% of my clients are still using Sketch and Sketch does not support on Windows and there was one point that I really wanted to get the window machine uh, the, the, the Surface Pro but you know like Sketch doesn't support on Windows and I cannot live without Sketch if I'm gonna work with my clients right because it just doesn't support it and I cannot open the files so if you're talking about like software support right now I think definitely like um, Mac has uh, an advantage because a lot of new software uh, if they're developed by some like other de developer not the big ones right they would develop on the Mac system first because just more designers on the Mac than the Windows so Mac support I think like software support I think definitely the Mac has an edge over the Windows computer because you know just more com uh, more designers using Mac right now um, so thirdly, um, let's talk about the feels about the general products, right? So if you know Apple products, it's definitely like you speak for its kind of perfectionism, right? Like they're trying to make everything very perfect in the computer and a lot of other Windows computers, they're trying to copy that as well. Uh, if you know like the MacBook Pro and like all the kind of computers, right? They're trying to copy the Mac. So Mac definitely speak authentic, like it's definitely more authentic and definitely like more like speak like the design volume than the other computers if you compare that and I think like that's one of the reason why I think a lot of designers or like just creative people or uh, tech people they're using Mac computer because it's just more like perfect a, a sense of perfectness I, I mean like this is just how I feel about it it's definitely very biased and definitely like maybe like not fair for the Windows users but if you think about like dressing up for events right you will think about like the MacBook uh, and versus uh, the, the Windows computer so let's say if I'm going to an interview right if I bring a Windows in an oval then that will feel a little bit weird because it just like doesn't speak that professionalism right but if I bring a Mac it just feel like I'm bringing a suit to an interview not like uh, not like a pants and like not like other things right so I think like this is just how I feel about it again like it's very personal I believe that you may not feel that way but that is how I see it and I believe that that's how a lot of people see it as well so like you just feel more professional if you're owning a 
Mac uh, computer versus a Windows in a designer world. Uh, let's talk about the customer support between two because you know like after you buy your products you may have some problem and and how easily can you get fixed for your computer right so I cannot really say much about the Windows because I don't own a lot of Windows computer but like for the Mac I will say MacBook support uh, or just Mac product support is very very well uh, so one of the story about my support uh, with Apple is um, this is actually this one I'm having on my table right now is a MacBook Pro and it's the second computer that I get from Apple uh, So like I had a story where you know I was in a coffee shop and then spilled some coffee on my laptop and then basically like the coffee was in uh, Underneath my keyboard so I had to you know pop up all of my keys and try to clean it And I definitely break a lot of things and during that time Apple has a uh, Program to fix keyboard so I bring it to Apple and was like can you help me to fix this? So there, yeah, 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 we're having a you know, program right now to replace keyboard, so I was like, great. So they took my computer, they tried to fix it, and then eventually, I think they broke something about the motherboard and many things, and then eventually they just give me a computer brand new, so it's out of the box, uh, it, not out of the box, sorry, it's sealed computer, so that was, I'm pretty sure that was brand new. So basically, I turned in a 2017 computer, I got a 2018 version back. So this is how perfect that is. And then with that, right, like there was another time after it got to 2018, I was using a knockoff charger in my bedroom and then it burned, it burned, basically it burned the battery and then you kind of burned the motherboard as well. I bring it back to Apple and then because like that computer was still under warranty, I got fixed again. So basically, this is how my uh, experience with Apple, anything happened bad, you know, your faults, whatever, you can bring it back to Apple, they'll try to fix it for you. So this is how great Apple support is and I can speak a lot of things about good thing about Apple support. So lastly, let's talk about the price, right? So price is very important. And I understand that, you know, in a lot of other countries, Apple product is just too expensive for people. And if, you, if you're, you know, like the whole month income is only, you know, like two, three hundred dollars, right? An Apple product called two, three thousand dollars and definitely doesn't make any sense to for you to buy Apple right so I can definitely understand that but if you're thinking about you know like you, you don't have to buy the most powerful machine you can buy the cheaper machine which is I'm gonna talk about you know different machines between the MacBook Air and MacBook Pro but for the price wise I would definitely say that Mac, Mac product is about like I think 30% more expensive or 40% more expensive than normal you know a, a Windows machine but if you think about you know like you're buying it as an investment and the resale value is definitely a lot higher for a, a Mac products and the Windows products. So I sold my uh, older version of Mac Pro. So I got the uh, 2013, I sold that one in 2016. And I think that was, uh, the bought in price was valid to uh, $2,400. And I sold it for like $1,200. So like 50% of the price after three years, right? So that was a pretty good resale value. And and if you think about it, it's just an investment, I think it's kind of worth, worth it. So if you know after all this and you're thinking about getting the Mac um, Mac system right so which computer should you buy and especially if you're on a budget then I can say that I own you know I own a MacBook Pro right now and I also own the MacBook Air so which is in here so I have both and the reason why I got the MacBook Air is as well is because you know the MacBook Air sometime I would have some problem with my MacBook Pro and then I will send it to fix and I have another separate uh, computer for me to continue to work. So that's why I get the MacBook Air as well. And then also when I go travel, I bring the MacBook Air because it's just a lot lighter. Um, so that's why I have those. And which ones should you buy, right? I would say definitely the MacBook Pro is faster machine, is more powerful machine than the MacBook Air. But if you're just doing you know design work, right? Especially right now, I would say Figma. Like if you haven't used Figma before, Figma is basically a work, uh, a web place, a web Based products and Figma uh, doesn't cost you anything to store your to store your design file. It's all on the cloud, right? It's like open a tab on your website and then you can start designing stuff. So that would take a lot of you know work out of your computer. And I had definitely no problem using Figma on the MacBook um, Air machine, and it just perfect very very well. 
but like you may struggle a bit if you're opening very very large files um, in let's say in your Photoshop file or in your um, sketch file like if your file size is very large you may struggle a little bit on your MacBook Air um, but most of the time it's okay like I don't have a lot of problem with it when I'm designing on my MacBook Air that's why I bring it to travel and I can still trust the performance of that so like if you're thinking if you're on a budget and if you're really thinking about getting the Mac system definitely get the MacBook Air and then use Figma and everything would just be fine. So that that's what I think about that. And last but not least, if you're thinking about buying the iPad for your design work, um, definitely I would say if you if you're doing you know just logo design, I think that may work. But definitely uh, don't do it. I, I actually I have the uh, the iPad Pro as well, but. The, the reason I get it is just to, you know, like for me to have a separate screen and for me to like do some quick stuff with that so I can touch the screen. But it doesn't support Sketch, it doesn't support even Figma, right? If you think that, you know, Figma is just a web based product, it doesn't support on your iPad OS. So you cannot do any serious design work on your iPad OS if you're UI and UX designer. So it does not work. Um, so don't don't buy this for you know like for for design works. Just buy the MacBook Air, and it's almost the same price. I think MacBook Air right now is about like a thousand dollars. So that is a very good investment you can make. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much about it. Um, you know, comparing all of these machines and like how you can think about it. And I hope that this video kind of give you some ideas about uh, which platform to choose from. And then I hope that I can help in any ways. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like the content, definitely subscribe to my channel and follow me on social media links down below. Then uh, I'll talk to you guys later, later, next time. Cheers.